We're going to have a look at how to use SDL Trados Translator's Workbench to prepare a file for translation in other CAD tools. Here we have Trados Workbench open with a TM that has some content that's relevant to the file that I want to translate. So we're going to go to the Tools menu and choose Translate. And in the translation window, we want to check and see that our match value is at the right level for where we would like fuzzy matches to be presented. I usually set it at about 65 or 70 percent. And then two very important settings are segment unknown sentences and update document. Now we're ready to add the file that we'd like to pre-translate. I'm simply going to drag it into this window I could also use the Add button, which is particularly useful if I have a number of files to add. And now I click Translate. I'm done. Close the window. And you'll notice that Trados Workbench also created a backup file in case something went wrong. This back file contains the original content unsegmented. Let's have a look at our RTF file and see what it looks like now. Here we can see that quite a few of the sentences were in fact translated using content from the translation memory. The English was translated into German, but here we can see a segment where there was nothing in the translation memory, and in that case the source text was copied to the target text. Our file is now ready to be imported into the other environment, such as MemoQ, and translated there.